Welcome to May 17th, 2009, uh, first work day of the week, and we shall call it a Sunday. Well, brethren, let's get right over into the Lord's Care Ministry. Knowledge and wisdom comes from above. Day 137 of the year 2009. Now, again, brethren, I ask you to open up your Bible so that you can read along with me. I also ask you to write down the chapter and verse on the pad and paper so that you can go back and study the whole context of what we're trying to put forth here. You'll get much more out of it. And, brethren, if we go too fast for you, which I know most generally we will, Use the pause button down here in the corner, and you can be able to pause it so you can find chapter and verse and read with me. A lot of it is only one verse is long. That's why I ask you to write it on pad and paper, or go back, but use the pause button, and you can see this as many times as you would like. Okay, let's start out by going to Psalms, chapter 89 and verse 19. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. Now let's go to Hebrews chapter 2, verses 16 and 17. Verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. In all things I believe him to be made like unto his brethren. Now Ezekiel chapter 1 and verse 26. Upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. He's talking about maybe God being above it. John chapter 3 and verse 13. The Son of Man which is in heaven. Read that whole verse. People say that we're going to go to heaven when we die. The Bible doesn't say that. Read this whole, whole verse. It says the only one going to heaven is the one who came from heaven. And if you check back into the Old Testament, you found that we, the human people, come out of the dust of the earth, out of the clay. Check it out. Luke chapter 24 and verse 39. Behold my hands and my feet that it is I myself, handle me and see, for the Spirit has not flesh and bones, as you see me have. Philippians chapter 2, verses 7 and 10. He made himself no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made the likeness of man, and being found in the fashion as man, he humbled himself and become obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God, who hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, and that name of Jesus every knee should bow. Yes, brethren, he was made a servant. You know, because of the way he was made, he could be called the Son of God because it was the God that impregnated Mary and the Son of Man because it was born through Mary. So we can claim both titles. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 2. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy words perfect before God. His, a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. So brethren, if you think today is the day that you're supposed to go worship the Lord, you've got to understand which Lord. Is it a small L? Because nowhere does God tell you to worship Him as the heathens did. The Bible says, don't worship me as the heathens did. And they worshiped the sun god of Baal. Look it up. It's all in the Bible. It's not me saying that. It's the word of God. He says to worship him on the seventh day of the week. Not the first. 
You see, the first day of the week, Satan has got you to worship on a day farther away than from the Sabbath as you can get. The Sabbath is the seventh day of the week. And Baal has you worshiping on the first day of the week. That's as far as you can get. And everything in it is like when you look in a mirror, it's a reverse reflection. Check it out. Your right hand in the mirror shows to be your left. Check it out. Sunday is a reverse reflection of the Sabbath. Brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful work day. I know I will, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.